మరి మనం లెవెన్ స్టార్ట్ చేయాలి కదా మనం లెట్ చేస్తాం ఓకే గైస్ సో కంటిన్యూ స్టార్టెడ్ రికార్డింగ్ ఆల్సో స్మాల్ స్మాల్ లైన్స్ ఆన్లీ గైస్ జస్ట్ ఐ విల్ ఫినిష్ ఫాస్ట్ అలాగే అండ్ ఫర్ ఎనీథింగ్ మిస్సింగ్ దెన్ ఐ విల్ గివ్ యూ దట్ రికార్డెడ్ వీడియోస్ ఓకే సో హియర్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఈస్ వర్క్ గ్రూప్ అండ్ డొమైన్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆర్ యూ ఏబుల్ టు హియర్ yes sir yes sir so work group and domain so what is this work group just before i explained what is peer to peer same concept only same thing only you have a systems in the network and each system is individual system like you have a laptop to install any application in your laptop or you want to see some settings in the laptop so you need to take any permissions from anyone because you are work, you are in a work group just you log in with a, your local administrator account every pc has their own local administrator account. for example first pc account is for pc a local account is amit for pc b uh, local account is aman for example i need small small names for pcc um ravi is there prachi is there sagar is there so ravi is a admin account sagar pcd okay so in a apc i want to change any settings or maybe i want to install some applications okay so i can do with this amit account okay so i'm um, for pcb aman can able to change settings aman can able to install an applications aman can able to uninstall an applications so because of is a local administrator means that pc is administrator account okay but amit cannot control amit cannot able to install application in b or aman cannot able to change settings in c why because of amit user account passwords and settings stored in this pc only okay aman user account passwords and settings every uh, is personal data stores in bpc only when amit is log into apc apc authenticates amit account not bpc or cpc so no centralized authentication no centralized authentication no centralized control every pc is maintained by their individual local account administrator only it's a decentralized administration means no centralized control every pc has their own administrator one pc is user account cannot able to log into other pcs okay because of their username password setting stores in their own pcs only you can control or manage individual pcs for example in your organization if you are your laptop so that is your maintaining but think like an organization or a college you have a 100 computers each computer should be maintained by one person only you have one person has to go to one by one system uh, okay so there is a person and there is a systems he has to go to each and every pc log in with a, their local admin account each individual pc having their own admin account so each the your, this person has to go to each and every pc and uh, do the settings changes installations and installation by logging with that your pc is admin account okay no centralized control is here so you have to manage individually not centrally okay if number of devices or pcs are increases it is difficult to manage and how you know you are in a work group or a domain so go to this settings systems 
and go to about. So then you can go to rename this PC advance. Rename this PC advance. Click here. So you will see you are in a work group. The work group name is work group. If you click on change also, you can see you are a member of work group. Name is work group. Work group name is work group. Okay, sometimes the work group name may be different, but still you are a member of a work group. You are not a member of domain. And why this domain is disabled? Why cannot able to join into any domain? Because of I am using Windows 10 Home Edition. You can see here it is Windows 10 Home Edition cannot join into the domain. Okay, if you are a pro or enterprises editions, you can join into the domain. Okay, how to join into the domain and all? I have a one recorded video is there, so I will send it to you anyway. Okay, guys, this is about a work group. Here I explained about a work group. So that is, yeah, I given a name Amit Anand Neetu Shiva for a previous batch it is. So PCA, Amit is a local administrator. He can change settings, he can install application, uninstall an applications. He can give permissions to other users. Access permissions kind of stuff, okay. Amit can be able to manage A, but not other PCs. Need to information stored in PCC, not in other PCs. Uh, Amit username, password, setting stores in PCA, not in other PCs. You have to make any changes. If in case in organizations, colleges, uh, internet centers, you have multiple computers. So you have to manage the computer, then means you have to go to each and every PC, log in with their local account, local administrator account, and then you can do all the settings. The more number of devices increases, it's difficult to manage. Guys, next one is domain. This is centralized administration. You guys understand what is work group or domain kind of stuff? Work group? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Work group means simply all our we are all in a work group only. Okay, I am also in work group. This is a centralized server. It is a server. It is become a domain controller by installing a role called a ADDS. By installing and the configuration of ADDS, it become a domain controller. It become a domain controller. Okay, what is use of this domain controller? Okay, domain controller contains a service called Active Directory service. So what is this Active Directory again? So domain controller has information about users, groups, computers and the resources also. Now just as I'm removing this, and stuff for drawing again, but removing is taking more time than drawing. So what it is contains information. Information contains about your computer information means those are in the domain. These devices once they are joined into the domain. So that information. OK, so my APC, BPC, CPC, DPC are joined into the domain. How to join? I say short option is member of domain. There you have to give that domain name. Domain has a, a some domain name is there. For example, latif.com is a domain name. It's a domain name only. Server name is DC1. My domain name is latif.com. It's a domain. That's a, just a namespace. Okay, I will tell that one also. Okay. And I can able to create users. I'm creating users in the domain. So user one, user two, user three, user four, user five, user six. Okay, like that. I create a users in the domain. We create a users in the domain. Okay. 
Next, it contains information about resources. Like this is my printer, printer one. That information also here means in the domain controller, those names are there, users are there, computer names are there, resources are there. They all belongs to same domain only. They all belongs to that domain. Okay, yeah, it is a little. Okay. Next, remember, guys, this user in the domain is called a domain user. Computer in the domain called a domain computer. Okay. Domain users can log into any domain computer. So user one is log into PCA. User two is log into PCB. User four is log into PCC. User six log into PCD. So morning work completed. Afternoon work is started means next shift is started. Now user, uh, of course, user seven, user eight, user nine, user ten. Like that, I created users. So this is this guy is log out and user three log in here. User seven is log in here. User five log in here. User eight is log in here. Okay. So a user can able to log into any of the domain computers. Domain user can log into any of the domain computers. How? Because of the domain computer information is available in the domain controller. Now, where is domain user information? Where is domain user information? In the domain controller only. So where information is there, there only it should be authenticated. These pieces does not have information of users. User information is in domain controller. So when I log into user one, this PC will send a request to the domain controller. User one is login. Please authenticate this user. And uh, user one is verified at domain controller. Username and password is correct. Yes, this is the user is available and his credentials are correct and it authenticate the users. It is authenticate. Authenticate means verification of identity. Username, password is a correct. Then it is authentication is done. What is authorization? Here yeah, authentication username, password is correct. Is but this person is allowed to access or not. Authorization means allow the allow or deny the access. Authorize the user to access the PC. Same way, user three is trying to log into PCA. After user one log out, user three is trying to log in. Again, request go to domain controller for authentication, then authorization. Same goes for these users. It is go to the domain controller for authentication and authorization. So domain controller having a active directory which maintains the database of users, groups, computers and resources and services. And it authenticate users when they log into the domain computers. I'm trying to log into user 10 in the EPC. I am unable to log in here. Can anybody tell why? Any guess? Any guess? No problem. No guessing work. Okay, a little bit. 
so this is a is outside of the domain sir it is it is a outside of the domain very good that's the answer correct answer only it is outside of my domain see in my domain control error information about apc vpc c pc and dpc because of there are domain computers they joined into the domain they joined into the domain okay but epc not joined into the domain epc information not available into domain controller so domain users cannot log into the devices which is not in the domain even they are in the same network but they cannot able to join what is this xyz xyz very good very good. okay so that's there is a sentence called uh, what is a domain domain is a administrative boundary a logical administrative boundary of users groups and computers so logical administrative boundary physically all are connected but logically there are into the same or domain or not that's the only thing uh, in, in the same domain or not that's it okay so it is a centralized administration type okay centralized controller called a domain controller we have a centralized controller that is we call it as a domain controller which is nothing but a server a domain administrator is a admin for all systems in the domain domain administrator is a admin for all systems in the domain various type of settings um we can able to uh, enforce various type of settings to the large number of users and groups using group policies what is this group policy guys i want to put a certain settings into these pieces either by user wise or a computer wise i want to enforce certain settings to the devices what i will do i will create a group policy and in the group policy i will mention what settings i have to deploy then i will give this settings to every pc from server directly for example i am giving a printer access permission for all the people then i will create a printer related settings in my group policy and deploy the group policy so everybody will able to access the printer okay you know desktop wallpaper you can see my desktop wallpaper so some people some people use different type of uh, desktop wallpaper some people create lot of data on that desktop some people are always try to restart or shut down their pcs i want to prevent it some people are uh, always right click on this one to open anything on a taskbar a taskbar is uh, i don't want to visible them so i want to hide the taskbar or uh, people trying to connect a, a vpn so i am allow certain users to connect vpn not everyone so what i will how to manage that kind of stuff using group policies in group policy the respect to settings i will create and deploy the settings to the entire domain or a specific group of users or a computers i can able to deploy that is a group policy guys okay we can enforce various type of settings settings like it can be a desktop wallpaper setting internet related settings or maybe it is a folder redirection related settings firewall related settings i have 100 computers how to go to each and every computer to do firewall setting so what i will do i'll create a group policy and attach a group policy in the server it will be applicable to all the 100 computers so then i don't need to go to each and every pc automatically policy is applied the settings will be changed okay so that is a, an example we can say what is group policy next uh, of course in a domain controller it is uh, having a information about your users groups computers services and resources 
okay it stores in the act 2 directory database the database name is mtds.da domain user can log into any domain computer so here i given a neat diagram here okay user information username and password store in domain control only computer join into the domain is called a domain computer user in the domain called a domain users domain user can log into their any domain computers by default domain account admin account is a administrator which is admin for all devices as i said earlier so you don't need to go to each and every pc with their local administrator account you have to just administrator can log into any domain computer with a domain admin account okay so individually also you want to go to each and every pc so you no need to know what is the the local administrator account name so we have a domain administrator account with that one you can able to log in domain user log in to domain computer a domain controller authenticate the user okay so when user is log in to a domain computer domain controller will authenticate that user this is uh, i am telling how to join that settings part okay uh, last minute and tomorrow is for some test okay guys this is uh, what is an active directory this time we discuss about domain domain is a logical administrative boundary of users and computers okay so why i said ad domain initially i said domain but now it is ad domain you know some people if any you got a question like what is the domain they will search in google and they will get a different kind of answers because it's a english word domain means english word what is your domain means you are working in an organization people will ask you what is your domain you should not say hcltech.com right you should not say abcd.com what is your domain your domain is uh, related to uh, cloud or related to uh, sap or related to uh, uh, network administration or related to network monitoring or database administration or maybe uh, data uh, center mo uh, monitoring okay so your domain is uh, what part is a development side or a uh, it supporting side or a administrative side so that is a your domain it is. so your work okay so like that domain is a english word it is you can say so when you are searching in a google so try to search like a ad domain then only you will get a, at least some information related to act to directory domain so our domain okay so that's the point guys so what is a domain is a logical administrative boundary of users and computers then what is this act to directory guys you got a question what is an act to directory so there is a two important points about a act to directory there is no direct um, um, uh, name is not there because act to directory do two things one is database another one is authentications active directory database stores identity of users groups computers services and resources okay and active directory also authenticates users when they log into domain network okay you log into a domain computer or you want to access a printer in a domain you are i want to access the data in the domain so your active directory authenticate a user and then authorize the user to access okay and of course you search in a google then uh, what is an active directory you may see this answer it is a microsoft service since server 2000 yes of course that is also correct but that is not enough 
compulsory the first two things are important one is active directory database second one is authentication okay just it is a microsoft service means what is the what is the use of that one okay that is point guys of course it is a microsoft service which is introduced in windows server 2000 before 2000 server it is not active directory it is different concept dc concept is there okay so that is active directory 2000 server 2003 server also they use a word active directory but in active directory also we have a different services active directory uh, certification services domain services um, rms uh, right management system federation services lightweight directory access services okay so because of multiple services came up then in 2008 the active directory is divided into five services our active directory services active directory domain services what is the difference between ad and adds ad is a word used in a 2000 and 2003 servers active directory concept in 2008 onwards we are using active directory as a active directory domain services because we have another services also okay the database you have a database means the database having a name right so when you see a database it is a database means the file the database file having a name name of the active directory database is ntds.dit new technology directory service directory information tree okay and what active directory do active directory store user group computer information into the active directory database that is database name and also active directory authenticates users when they log into domain computer so for authentication also we need a protocol right so what are the authentication protocols are kerberos and ldap protocols it is used okay so this is the part only there are a lot of use part of uh, active directory i said only sample okay i given a only sample not even a sample also okay just a title at least to list some basic information guys okay up to here this part yes sir okay. azure ad so again i said active directory then what is this azure ad azure ad is what is azure azure is a microsoft cloud service azure is a microsoft cloud service azure is a microsoft providing a cloud service public cloud service that is azure what is azure ad it is active directory services from azure cloud normally you need a server and you have to install windows server operating system and you have to configure adds then the server become domain controller so you will get a active directory services but you cannot maintain a server in your organization because you have to maintain a server means you have to maintain backup servers and you have to maintain a network you have to maintain a physical security network security storage and there is specific room temperature everything you have to maintain so you don't want to maintain or maybe it is become more costlier for your organization and you need a person to maintain the server and you need another person for network management so it is become cost effective on the organization that too if it is a medium scale organization or low small scale organizations it is more cost then what i will do i will go to azure microsoft cloud it is azure then i will go for a azure active directory services so i will add all my users there computers there only okay i add my users computers into active directory azure azure active directory so user can able to log into their pcs and authenticate 
easily through internet so they can access from internet so i no need to maintain any server i no need to maintain uh, any network related public ip private ip nothing i no need to maintain so obviously i can get us back to date services directly through internet from azure ad okay understand concept of cloud and azure ad yes so okay. so uh, this is small text for a cloud okay so what is a cloud so you are accessing a servers application network and storage through internet you can access anywhere anytime from internet it is a pay as you go model means how much server you are utilizing how much storage you are utilizing how much network you are utilizing what applications you are using how long you are using based on that you have to do payment you have to do the payment okay in cloud we have a three service just for revision guys uh, if you already know if you don't know at least know the basic names uh, because you said tomorrow is a version test uh, if monday is possible then uh, sar will take the class okay otherwise it is okay and there is a two main topics also there that is i will forward a video okay tomorrow i am not available also okay saturday also i am not available okay private cloud public cloud and hybrid cloud private cloud is a single tenant type means only organization who is maintaining private cloud that organization use the cloud services not for everyone not for outside people public cloud the organization who is maintaining the public cloud give the services to different people either by individual user or to organization for example you take aws individually i can able to access my aws and the organization even 70 is using aws cloud of course azure cloud also there are using okay so hybrid cloud means i have my own private cloud now i need more resources because my private cloud is enough for my current project new project came i need more resources then i will go for a public cloud and i merge both public and private so then uh, that is called a hybrid cloud okay and in a cloud services guys infrastructure as a service platform as a service software as a service infrastructure as a service means you need a virtual machine storage kind of stuff that is infrastructure as a service platform as a service like you want to develop an application and your resources are not enough you don't have that uh, um, servers in your infrastructure or a background uh, services or uh, in um, your laptop is not having that much capacity kind of stuff like to develop a any web application example you need a front end uh, um development database requirement storage requirement application running uh, instance running related uh, um, resources also required right cpu ram power is required simply go to the cloud service provider and start develop your own application and test your application deploy your application so all phases of application you can easily do in the cloud services that is the service is called a platform as a service software as a service software as a service i am using google docs right so google doc it's a document so actually i have to install document in my pc but i am maxing document through our internet okay i am using uh, this pptts forms all these things we are using through internet directly i am taking attendance daily on my web browser right this is microsoft 365 or office 365 so through online i can access word excel powerpoint and outlook also in offline also i can able to access it okay salesforce applications dynamic 365 applications these are all software as a service means you 
access an application directly. So without installing into your PC, uh, also we can access. And you can access from anywhere, anytime, any device also, you can able to access it. Okay, so application run by service provider and you just you are accessing that particular application. And also there is a different cloud service providers. AWS is more popular now, Azure and GCP. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, IBM Cloud Digital Version, Rackspace. Not only this, so many cloud service provider are there. More popular one we got it with the AWS. Next one is Azure and then GCP. Okay. So just giving a small introduction, sir, guys. These all are uh, paid services, sir. You tell me. This is all are paid services. Paid or free, it is nothing. It's you go to AWS or Azure, GCP or OCI. So you need a, a small a credit card or a debit card for uh, accessing their free type. So they will give a free type access for a certain period of time. Limitation is there. Once free tier is completed, any service you use, few services, you compulsory have to pay for a few services, always free services also there. Up to one month or up to particular hours or a particular year, like a 12 months AWS you take, one year you get a free tier services and always services also there. Azure having one month services, one month free tier services, 12 months, uh, free services and always free services categories there. Okay. But compulsory, uh, you need at least a virtual uh, debit card or a, a debit card or credit card. Even they don't charge generally verification purpose only. Only verification identity worker. But when you are sure today I will start Azure, then uh, I will learn and I will complete and then I practice. Or today I will start AWS or learn first AWS, then I will practice. When you start practicing, then create an account. So then at least some dates times will be useful. Okay. I created AWS account in December. Still I am uh, I didn't much using. Okay, I have to use today again to delete uh, my few instances. EC2 instance is there and uh, RDS instance is also there. Okay. So you do not keep your virtual machines alive. It will take your lot of time. That to link kind of anything you create in a, a AWS guys. Once you are done, delete it. So tomorrow I will see once more. So I will keep it like that. Means meanwhile chargeable is this thing. Okay. If you do it and remove it, charge is very less and no charges in a free time mainly no charges. Okay. And a few topics guys, Office 365, uh, that video I will send, okay, and uh, any small, small thing we miss, I will do it. Uh, tomorrow you have our test means Monday I will ask sir if he's available, and you guys also available, Monday sir will take any uh, missing parts, okay. Okay, that is for today. Uh, Monday is the last.